Hello again and welcome back to my channel. In some previous videos I have tried out various types of polymer clay to see if I can find an alternative to my preferred clay which is Fimo. I've had a couple of questions from people regarding the strength and durability of other clays after they've been baked and so I thought I'd take this opportunity to try out and make a little experiment it's no means carried out under scientific conditions. This is something I've just done to have a look for myself to see what the various clays are like strength-wise. All the pieces apart from the Fimo were baked together, so they all baked at the same temperature. However, Fimo does bake at a slightly lower temperature, so that was done separately. At the top, I have an unbaked piece, so you can see the difference in the colour between the unbaked and the baked. And overall, most of them have come out quite well. I would say that each of them is perhaps a slight shade darker when it's baked. So these pieces are unbaked. This Fimo was quite old, so it took quite a bit of conditioning. But I've got it to a decent point now where it, it's quite workable. And this is actually Fimo effects. The Sculpey 3 conditioned quite easily. Again, it's in a similar sort of state to the Fimo. The DAS was a little bit harder than some to condition, uh, but again, once it's conditioned, it's a little bit more prone to tearing than Fimo or the Sculpey. And finally, the Craft Place is very wet, very sticky. I had all sorts of problems with this one. It's just like chewing gum or blue tack. It's very, very soft. I've done two samples of each, one on the thickest setting of my pasta machine and one on the thinnest. So to start with, that's the thick Fimo piece. And it's quite strong. It does bend, it's not in the slightest bit brittle. I suppose if I tried hard enough I could rip it. And that is on the thinnest setting. There is a little bit of bubbling but I think that's the way I baked it. And as you can see that is quite flexible. People had commented to me that Sculpey 3 was very brittle when it was baked. Here again we have a piece that was rolled out on the thickest setting and it does feel a lot stiffer than the Fimo. It's nowhere near as pliable. But it does feel quite hard. The thin piece of Sculpey it has snapped. So it is much more brittle than the Fimo. The Fimo remains more flexible overall than the Sculpey. The Das clay again is quite flexible but it is tearing. I don't know if you can see that there, there's a, a tear appearing there. I think there may be an air bubble in that and that's why it's torn. Again, with the thinner piece, it's quite flexible. And finally, the craft place. As you can see, it's quite flexible, but it is beginning to crack and crumble. This really isn't a very good clay at all. And there it's snapped in half. And with the thin piece, it's just the same. Very flexible, but it stresses quite easily. You can see the stress cracks there. Finally, I made a little coiled spring out of each clay. The clay was run through an extruder and then wrapped around a wooden skewer to bake it. And I thought that this would 
give us a good idea of the compression. The female's quite stretchy, it compresses quite well, and there's no signs of any cracks or any stress marks. The Sculpey, first of all, it feels a lot harder, a lot more brittle. It doesn't compress as easy and it doesn't stretch as easy, but it hasn't actually broken. I don't think that it would stand up to any heavy handling like I feel that the Fimo would. The Das again feels very brittle, although it is stretching and compressing quite well and I can't see really any signs of any cracking. The craft place again is, is very stretchy, it compresses very easy. Compared to the Sculpey and the Das it feels a lot softer. I can easily twist it. It's almost like um, like a soft plastic. So to sum up, I still haven't found anything that is as good all round as Fimo. The Sculpey 3 obviously is very much brittler. It breaks. Both the DAS and the Craft Place clays show signs of stress when you bend it, and the Craft Place clay clearly has torn. So it's not a durable clay at all. The Craft Place clay, especially on the thinner piece, tears very easily. The DAS, it does tear, but it's a lot tougher than the Craft Place. The Sculpey is just very brittle, you can see it's splintered there. And the Fimo. Well that just is very difficult to tear, it can be done. But it does take quite a lot of effort. People were right when they told me that the Sculpey 3 was quite brittle and prone to breaking and I just don't think that the DAS clay or the Craft Place clays are suitable for what I want them for. I hope you found this video interesting, if you have please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon to be notified of our further uploads. Thank you for watching.